hello, hello, how are you, my worry signs, my dear Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What's for you for May 2017? What's for the worry signs in May 2017? Okay. Scorpio has a full moon on May 10. Okay. It's a full moon in a sign of Scorpio that uh, may be meaningful and then we have a new moon on May 25th in Gemini. Gemini is a happy light energy, Scorpio, deep, after all means change transformation. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. The beginning, the middle, and the end of the month. Cancer. Scorpio. Pisces. The middle. Cancer. Scorpio. And Pisces. Cancer. That's the end. Scorpio and Pisces. Beautiful. Okay, heart, 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 heart. For the relationships first. Those in the relationships. Whoop, okay. Cancer. Scorpio. And Pisces. That's the relationships. Now the single ones. Now the single ones. Now the oh, it's sex in the city, right? Cancer. Scorpio. And Pisces. All right, that's the general energy. Now, Archangel Gabriel. When the Mercury goes forward into the middle of the month, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And the end, the end of the month. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And one message from the spirit world. Every sign is getting one. Cancer. Scorpio. Pisces. Okay, wonderful. Okay, let's start somewhere. Cancer, let's start with you. What's for my dear cancer? Hmm, okay, okay, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, very simple, straightforward. <laughs> it starts with your own message, your, your card representing you, uh, cancer. The moon. Remember when I said in the beginning, if you didn't watch from the beginning, I will remind you we have a full moon in Scorpio, our sister sign, uh, your sister sign, and this may give you powerful, intuitive thoughts, epiphanies, visions, dreams, premonitions, secrets may come up, in short too. Don't worry. Don't be fearful, sleep well on the full moon, right? Because you finally will get that moment, aha moment, that you will know why it was the way it was, many of you. Some secrets will be revealed, some of you will reveal secrets, okay? Because you want the truth to come out, you want to have a clean slate. In those in relationships, Honestly discuss what's in your heart, not what you think, what's in your heart, 
what's the feelings that behind everything, okay? And it may be that you're trying from your heart to your partner, say how you feel about something. What is your intuition telling you? And that someone is like, what? Totally somewhere else. Or work in a different system, either being very practical or very intellectual, but not exactly where you are, okay? But be honest. Those who are single, it's worth waiting for. The big love, the true love, the real love, the twin flames is worth waiting for. So, divine timing plays a major role here. Okay, just do your thing. Act with integrity. Be passionate about your life. Do what makes you happy. What brings you fun to life. And don't worry about anything. It will come in the right time. In the middle, in the middle of the month, in the middle of the month, um, when Mercury goes forward. I love this card because it means you're falling in love suddenly. Mm -hmm. Either you are swept off your feet. Wow, I've been waiting and I did everything, you know, what I'm supposed to do. I loved what I was doing and boom, I'm so in love. Okay, heels overhead and all that beautiful saying. Some of you maybe simply will fall in love with something, some project, some idea, some thought. Something will be revealed, maybe even about yourself. Suddenly you know that aha, eureka moment. And boy, the middle of the month, you seeing the stars. And the Archangel Gabriel says, use the energy of any disappointments to fuel your creative project with authentic emotions. So whatever it was that you experienced here, and you spoke about this, okay? If it was any disappointment, now you suddenly know what to do. You suddenly know how to proceed. And you so charged up, you're so excited, okay? Which is beautiful. Now, the new moon in Gemini, how you ending the month? Um, something new, new project, new ideas. Um, communicate clearly, accurately, okay? So say what you really need to say and say it. Uh, so you have new ideas, you implementing new ideas, uh, but does that mean that everything will be fine and dandy and just smooth? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Some people will not like. Uh, you, will, you may experience some challenges, but don't worry. Do your thing, okay? Do your thing. And the signs the signs will be all over the place. So you starting, my dear Cancer, with epiphanies and the full moon, but also the new moon will show you the signs. Okay, do this, do that. So go with your intuition. The spirit world, those on the other side who love us and think of us, this is confirmation that you are seeking to thread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So again, we're going to science, we're going all intuition all the power of inner knowing, big time. So if you go this way, Cancer, you're going to be successful, wonderful, okay? Don't let the fear, worry, others telling you what to do, others knowing better than you do, get you, okay? Keep passionate.
keep going, trust your intuition, and have a wonderful month, my dear Cancer. <laughs> Until we meet again. My dear Scorpio, what's for you? Let me take a look. Mm, okay, let's start. So it starts from it's time to take action. That's the energy. Okay, you've been waiting for something and something was maybe dragging and not going with the full speed, but boy, now you're ready to take action. Now you're ready to kick here and there. <laughs> and that's good. Go after your dreams. Do what you need to do. Let this come from your heart and with your intuition, of course. Uh, some of you will have absolutely wonderful ideas about business. Some of you will be already pursuing your goals, opening a business, doing something for yourself, which is wonderful because if many butterflies transformation, you're starting something new. Now, those in relationships, it's karma. So, either somebody is from the past life, somebody comes back from the past. From the past of this life or the other life. So, you knew each other before. This is karma. And since it's uh, with this, you know what to do, you're going for it, I think you would like to go for it. Okay? Uh, but know that uh, that's karma means life lessons. Now, for those single ones, open your heart because you may be being disappointed. Maybe you're coming from a broken relationship, bad experiences. And it says, open your heart to receive, to give and receive the most beautiful energy existing, love. Okay? Now, in the middle of the month, the Mercury goes uh, forward finally, and you may feel trapped. That's ego. That's your ego. So, you need to open your heart for love. Giving and receiving, all of you Scorpions, you need to trust your intuition. When ego shows up, it means we put too much importance on money, power, status, okay, material items. We worry too much. We too much in our head. We cannot sleep at night. Oh my God, what's going to happen? Probably nothing good because nothing good happened so far. That's ego. It has nothing to do with love. Love, you trust. You know it's going to be okay. You're going with your heart. You're going with your desires. You cannot go wrong. So watch out. And Archangel Gabriel on this note shows, and this may be around even, this still may be something because in your own sign is a full moon in Scorpio on a 10. So maybe this still has something to do with it because clear communication with yourself with God and with others help you avoid misunderstanding and speeds up the process of answered prayers. So you perhaps didn't communicate clearly. Some of you, I see that um, somebody else has an ego problem or is egoistical and um, maybe even narcissistic and you cannot communicate because you coming with the heart, somebody else with the mind, you uh, positive, somebody is negative and it's not going well. Now the end, you have seven, that's a major arcana, that's chariot. Success. Success. You just need to keep balance. So if you keep yourself discipline, you hold the ground, uh, 
you're gonna achieve success okay so keep working keep doing whatever you're doing come from your heart and you're gonna be very successful you may be even gonna be in a spotlight for some of you so that's wonderful some of you will decide to study more to get there to be successful to be in a spotlight to do something meaningful what's in your heart something that makes you happy you deciding to learn more going to school seminars webinars take courses whatever it is you learning more with the new moon in Gemini and the spirit says to you you are not alone we are here for you we never left through all the sadness and loneliness however you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you we are your family friends and guides you never walk alone we walk right beside you so watch your dreams Watch for the signs, listen to your intuition, write down your thoughts, feelings, because they will help you to explain it, what that means. Have a wonderful May Scorpio. Wish you the best. Many kisses, <laughs> many hugs, and until we meet again. My dear Pisces. What's for you? Okay, let's start somewhere. So, this may be us Pisces. Our energy. King of Cups. That's us. Queens and Kings of War Assign. So, we may feel just good in May. How wonderful. Isn't that great? We feel good. We may feel somebody we may feel somebody. Oh, that's interesting. We may meet somebody who is the word sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces like us, and this person is devoted, mature, warm, trustworthy, absolutely wonderful. Um, when you're giving advice and when you listen to advice, make sure it comes from somebody's heart not intellect okay if you have any uh, cultural endeavors somebody asks you to go something to something somewhere go do it okay because that's what will bring you more happiness now for those in relationships i'm sorry to say it was for somebody else to the same message it's not enough to keep going it's just not enough. It's just not enough. Not enough chemistry, not enough love. It is what it is. And it's a Scorpio full moon on a tent, and you may actually see it very clearly that is the case. For those single ones, keep an open mind. You never, never know when, how, and who's going to come uh, the right person. So keep an open mind, be patient, love yourself, be assertive. That's all you need to do. And be busy doing what you love to do, and it's going to come in a divine time. Now, with the uh, Mercury going forward in the middle of the month. I know it's on the third, but who are we kidding? By the time get some speed, it's going to be the middle. And boy, I love this one. Go after your dreams. Do what you love to do. Where is your heart? What the heart tells you. Go to transformation if you have to. I see so many beautiful... Uh, butterflies but she is wearing red that's action that's not sitting and dreaming oh you know no 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 with the mercury go forward okay let your creativity take a flight now some of the Pisces decide to go 
to work with the media, TV, you know, uh, video, audio print, online, all those vlogging, blogging, etc. And that's good. Let the creativity to the next level. Media. Show the world. Show everybody else. Be active. Go after your dreams. What was that you were sitting and thinking, oh, I would love to do, I would love to, but you never done it. Go for it. Now, the end of the month, we have a, a new moon in Gemini, the air sign, on the 25th, and I see even my name, the grace and inner strength. So it's 11, very spiritual. It's also a major arcana, and it says, be forgiving, be kind, be strong like a lioness or lion, but at the same time, be like a little sheep, innocent. So that's how wonderful you are, my dear Pisces, okay? You are everything, powerful, but gentle, compassionate souls, go with it. And trust, trust your intuition, trust in divine timing. Don't give up on anything. Have faith. Everything happens for a reason. Everything in a divine time. And the message from the other side is forgiveness. You see, it was already about forgiving. And again, holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. So healing is in order. If you cannot do it on your own, one of my many uh, services is working on letting go and healing. So. Um, Please look there, also Vimeo On Demand. What a beautiful month and meaningful. So I wish you, my dear Pisces, all the best. Many kisses, many hugs. <laughs> and until we meet again.